From the Up Up Coast Studios in Oklahoma City, this is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson. The NFL Draft concluded over the weekend, and Oklahoma had several players picked in this year's NFL Draft. Maybe not as many as recent years in those high rounds, but Barry Trammell joins us on the phone to talk about some of these guys. And Barry, let's start actually with Landry Jones, a guy that last year looked like he could go really high. This year falls into the middle rounds. What struck you about Landry and where he ended up getting drafted? Well, to fall to the fourth round, um, in a, in a year when the quarterback class was not good, was particularly disappointing uh, for Landry Jones. The, uh, uh, the good news was he went to a solid place, went to a good organization like the Steelers, where, he, uh, where he'll compete for the backup quarterback job. And if he can win that job, it's actually a job where you get to play some because Ben Roethlisberger tends to miss a game or two a year. So it's not a bad slot for Landry. But it's very disappointing that uh, uh, that a guy that was talked about a year ago as a first-round pick falls all the way to the fourth round. What about the rest of these guys that get drafted, Barry? Everybody from Lane Johnson in the first round, number four overall, Kenny Stills, Stacy McGee, on down the list uh, of a variety of Sooners that get drafted. Which one to you stands out as the guy that uh, is most likely to see a lot of playing time, and maybe who who got the uh, who got a great spot where they got drafted? Well, I mean, I think Lane Johnson, naturally, you don't pick a guy uh, fourth in the draft and then not put him right in the lineup. So it's a good thing the draft came when it did. Or, you know, Lane Johnson was accelerating up the, up the list so fast. If, if they would have waited another month, somebody would have built a statue for the guy by the time the draft was, was conducted. I've never seen somebody that, uh, you know, just zipped up that fast. So uh, going to the Eagles, uh, the high-tempo, up-tempo offense of Chip Kelly, which is uh, not the same that not the same uh, style of offense that Oklahoma runs, but similar in tempo to what the Sooners have done over the years. So Chip Kelly is, uh, likes the fact that Lane Johnson is athletic, can play that up tempo ball. Uh, uh, I, I think the Eagles will put uh, Lane Johnson in uh, right away, and uh, and and a well that uh, way they'll go. The other guy is drafted later, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh round, a lot more dicey. Um, just making the roster is, is your chief goal. Um, playing time would, will, uh, will just be a, uh, a hit and miss thing. But, uh, those guys, Kenny Still, Justin Brown, those types of guys, Stacey McGee, those guys will just have to, uh, you know, fight to make the roster. All right. Thanks, Barry. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman. Hey,